If you're Dutch, you've surely gotten acquainted with his work at some point. Dick Maas is a Dutch producer, director, writer and composer. He has written, directed and produced most of the popular Dutch horror films along with the Dutch classic flutter films and TV series of the same name. I'm the Pink Reaper and this is Dick Maas, the Dutch horror director who almost made it to Hollywood. Dick Maas, who was born in 1951 in Heemstede, Netherlands, completed his study at the Dutch Film Academy in 1973 and released his short, first short film two years later, titled Historia Morbi. His next short film, Picnic, came out two years later, in 1977. He made a few more short films and his first long TV film came out in 1981 under the name Rigor Mortis. He did the music video for Dutch rock band Golden Earring's Twilight Zone in 1982. It did not take long for him to release his first full feature film in 1983 titled The Lift. It is said that his infamous Dick Maas method already shone through on this first film set. He took a minimal budget of around 350,000 euros and created his first masterpiece. According to Maas, most of the budget was spent on Gerard Tolan's severed head. The Lift brought 650,000 visitors to the cinema. The Lift was something so different from Dutch cinema, it was more Hollywood-esque than anything Dutch directors had ever produced. It was the start of a new genre, Nederhorror. Maas received a golden calf, the Dutch Oscar, for best director. He felt like he could be the pioneer of a new era for Dutch cinema and started first floor features with fellow producer Laudens Schils, who he met in Cannes. Under first floor features, Abel, uh, which was directed by Alex van Warmerdam, came out and scored well, scoring the golden calf for best long feature film. The next film under first floor features was Flodder, directed by Dick Maas himself, which earned Maas his second golden calf for best director. Flodder was a real blockbuster and is part of Dutch culture to this day. Maas was on a roll and had an idea to bring the essence of Hollywood straight to Amsterdam with his next thriller, Amsterdam. He finally got a budget of 6 million guilders, which is about 2.7 million euros now and support from the municipality of Amsterdam to shoot the film. He was able to hire a real stunt crew from England. He got new motorcycles, speedboats, and even doubled the amount he needed. Though, during the production, he received an offer to go to Hollywood and direct the sequel to Wes Craven's Hollywood blockbuster, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Maas politely declined as he was still in production and he could just not leave first floor features behind while it was still in its starting phase. Looking back, he regrets his decision and even said he should have delayed the production for Amsterdam with for this opportunity. Though Amsterdam turned out to be another hit with almost a million visitors, and Maas had good hopes for the future. First Floor Features had a First Floor Features film factory built, which cost them about 10 million guilders, which is about 4.5 million euros. They built it so they could use it themselves and rent it to whoever else would need it. Maas received another offer to create a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme, which he also declined due to first floor features. After releasing two more fuller films and a TV series, all successful, Maas felt it was time to make a film for the masses, an English spoken film which was set in Amsterdam. Sadly, Do Not Disturb did not do well in theaters with its 12 million euro budget and the following film, Down, an English spoken lift remake set in New York City, flopped hard with a 15 million dollar budget which brought back only $535,000 worldwide. You're not gonna turn this into some kind of horror story, are you? Additionally, the film factory was not bringing in any money and Maas had to abandon first floor features, which was declared bankrupt a few years later. Maas tried to reclaim the rights to his Flutter franchise, though this was sadly denied by the court. Maas tried again and was able to claim the rights back in higher court. In December 2007, Maas released Mordweife, internationally known as Killer Babes. Maas still feels like this is his best work, the one movie he would not change a single thing about in hindsight. The film did well, with 400,000 visitors, and it seemed like Maas was back in business. This film was almost called The Botox Method, which later led to the title of the 2020 documentary, The Dick Maas Method. Three years later, Maas released Sint, a controversial movie, which was discussed often in the news at the time for putting up its posters, which could scare the children who still believed in Sinterklaas. The film pulled its weight with a return of 4.8 million euros on its 4 million euro budget. Maas seemed to be back on track after releasing two Dutch movies that did well. Next, he released Quiz. Even with extensive promotion, only 70,000 visitors showed up and Quiz turned out to be Maas' first Dutch spoken flop. In October, four years later, Proy, 
or internationally known as Prey, was released. The movie had no success in the Netherlands with only 31,000 visitors. But the trailer went viral and it was released in China in 2019 after undergoing some serious cutting to remove two violent scenes. It attracted over 1 million people and the film made around 4.4 million euros. Dick Ma said the movie underwent so much cutting that he was surprised that the Chinese market was even able to understand what was left of the movie. It is always a surprise what Maas will release next. He's still considering trying again in Hollywood, as he believes it is too difficult to get any support to create a film in the Netherlands. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the content, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments what your favorite Dick Maas film is or which one you would like to watch. I'm the Pink Reaper, and I discuss horror movies and concepts, often with a historic aspect. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and click the bell to get notified for my next video.